Hello everybody and welcome back to a new episode of Jurassic World Alive. So before we get into uh, today's video, um, from I'll be telling you from now onwards, um, every time when I, um, you know, a, a new event comes out, I'll be making a video, which is like almost every week or so, like once in one week I think, I'll be recording Jurassic World Alive. So, better stay tuned if you're a Jurassic World Alive fan. So before we uh, get into today's video, I'll be showing you guys uh, what will be uh, the events for this week. So by the snap of my finger, here we go. Whoa, okay, here we go. So uh, today we're going to be have um, this week, uh, we'll be having, uh, there from Monday to Tuesday, you'll have the Archaeocotherium and in the, 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 that new uh, Cenozoic common. So you'll be having two uh, Cenozoic commons um, from Monday to Tuesday. Then from Wednesday to Thursday, you have Bajidosaurus, Molalania, Clinican, and Titanoboa Gen 2. Now I would say, if uh, you want to go for like any hybrids, I mean all of these uh, creatures does have hybrids, um, but I think the only one that might uh, really want for you to dot is probably um, two things, either Bajidosaurus or Monolania. That is the pretty much like the, the one that you pretty much want to dot. Uh, Clanikin, even though it does have the legendary hybrid, which is, I think is Grylican, I think it is, the uh, Gryposuchus and the um, uh, Clanikin, I think. Uh, I don't know if that's any good, but anyway, I feel like you want to better go for Mogulania because it has a unique hybrid and there is a purpose for it and you know, just dot Mogulania. And then on Friday, which is a very cool one, um, oh god. Um, sorry, that was a message. Um, hold on, let me just silent that a little bit. There we go. Okay, so on the Friday, you'll have an Audentus Maxima and quite Orion. Now, this is a really good uh, day to, to dot something unique. Um, I would say if you want to dot something unique, probably my best, um, my best choice will probably be Audentus Maxima just because it's such a big tank and then it can like pretty much uh, negate a lot of things like it's really good counter um, something that can really counter this thing is probably um, oh I, I really have no idea actually what to counter Audentus Maxima I think this may be the like kind of the best creatures one of the best creatures in the game itself um, Quetzalcoatl could be really negated by an Audentus Maxima with the uh, you know the even though Quetzalcoatl is immune to distraction, but that is really not enough uh, because Audentus Maxima is immune to everything, so that's really really good, and that is probably the reason why you will want to dot Audentus Maxima rather than Quetzalcoatl. I mean, even though it's kind of slow, it is a big tank and it does have a lot of uh. A lot of attack and um, it has a very high crit chance. Thirty percent is not something to be sniffed at. And then on Saturday you will have um, Interruptor Gen Two, um, the the legendary Professor Soro, whatever you want to call it, and Smilocephalus, which is Smilodon and Pachycephalosaurus, if I'm not mistaken. Now I I would say out of all of this, uh, you can only dot one of them. Oh okay, you can okay, so you can only dot one of them. I think that is. From, from that 1 slash 12 hours so if you want to dot something I would probably suggest uh, Smilocephalus just because it has like the unique smileness which is Smilocephalus and uh, Carbon Ambus so our most maybe most likely you want to go for Smilocephalus just because you know for me anyway uh, because I, personally I feel like in the Raptor Gen 2 is just too much, if I've got to be honest. It, it really, there's very few things that can absolutely counter uh, in the Raptor Gen 2. And those few things could be Audentus Maxima or something that can, that can be decreased in speed. Um, most things don't have any deceleration, while in the Raptor's weaknesses is deceleration because they pretty much can't cleanse themselves unless they um, this interrupt is mutual fury, which is incredibly rare for someone to know that course of strike doesn't cleanse itself anymore. Uh, so that's something to be look at. And then on Sunday you'll have the epics, which is Carbon Emus, Idomitus Gen 2, Titan Boa, and Tyler Cotator. Now I would say I will probably uh, dot um, either two things. Two things. Um, one is the uh, Carbon Ambus and one is the Titanoboa. 
uh, just because you know Titanoboa and Carbonemus both have hybrids uh, that is going to be unique. Carbonemus being one of them is Smilolips, which is the Smilolemus and Carbonemus. Hopefully, I'll put up a picture of it. Um, and then uh, the Titanoboa is the Spina Constrictor, uh, which first goes into the Lophoboa, and then only then it goes to Spina Constrictor, which I would probably suggest I would kind of get it because um, if you look at my. Um, uh, well, hold on there for a sec. So I think um, most likely you're gonna got Carbonemus or Titanoboa. Or if you're a lower level, I would probably suggest going for Indominus Gen 2 and then you probably can get Interoperator Gen 2. Maybe that, maybe that will boost you in top 2, like a, a bit of a higher ranking. And then on the events, the battle events, um, on the Friday, you have a chance of getting a Scoutosaurus uh, incubator. So uh, Friday, you, it, there's the guaranteed uh, time where you can get your Scoutosaurus if you don't have it. So uh, do look out for that event. And then... Um, this event that is going on right now on right on Monday, uh, that rare incubator that just between the three one, I kind of did it just now and did half this um, uh, the new creature that I'll be showing you in a minute, and then overall all there is like a new scent actually from what I'm seeing right now, um, there's a new scent and then probably everything is just uh exactly the same like the same event, so you look out for Friday if you want to um like get a Scoutosaurus. Uh, but for now, let's take a look of our dinosaurs. And we're back! So, uh, like I said in the uh, the, uh, the rare incubator that I um, uh, battled this morning, uh, I did actually, uh, like, manage to get only like this. 9 DNA. <laughs> Freaking hell, man! I was like, oh, there is this new creature in it. I really want to get it. Please give me that cre new creature. 9 DNA. I was like, what? I could have barely got some more of it, but the other nine is like 700 of Nozunoceratops, which not too bad because Nozunoceratops does go into this uh, hybrid, which is Carboceratops, but but hey, it does have a unique hybrid of it, so there, is, um, there could be a possibility I could be using this. Um, so that would be a good look creature to look at. Um, also, if you're if you did complete the event not so long ago, like the tournament, um, most chops is hybrid, which is Antler chops right down there, uh, is super super tough to defeat. This guy is super super tough to defeat. It, it has like the revenge counter attack. Hopefully, I'll like you know put up an image of its attacks. Um, so it has like I think it's mutual fury and definite ramp. Sorry, Definite Rampage, I think. Or not Definite Rampage, it's Defense Shattering Rampage and then uh, Revenge Decelerating Impact. And it was like, I think you can basically just go for like the uh, Definite Rampage right off the bat, I think it is. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it, it's immune to stunt and then immune to deceleration, I think I'm, I, I'm thinking. I can't decrease this guy's attack, so there is a, there, he's not immune to distraction. But this guy is super super hot and it's super quick as well. I think like the 126 P I think it is. I'm not too sure. I because I think that's because of Antelodon DNA. 122. And then I don't know if most chops uh what speed is it? 113. So I don't understand why is it super quick. I really have no idea. Uh but we'll have a look at our dinosaurs today. So there could be a possibility that we could level up something. Um, so I have been uh, saving lots of things and hopefully I can collect something. No, I can't. Um, yeah, I'll donate this Utah Raptor to you. Um, how are you guys liking Jurassic World Live? I feel like um, they probably need to work on a fix, I believe. Just because, uh, you know, the amount of battles I've been facing is super, super uh, infuriating. Um, so, um, so yes, you can see, we can, you can tell by the left, we can level up. Trichosaurus up to level 24 but because of the I only managed to capture like two T-Rexes and I, I did pretty bad on them actually um, so I'm just gonna click it anyway because honestly I just feel like uh, we get 10 uh, which of course it's 10 fantastic uh, couldn't get any better than that so that's 80,000 coin though but not just hold on that I'm not gonna level that up just a moment because we also have this guy, um, 
Oh, sorry, I forgot to click it over there. Uh, Pro Ceratomyris. This guy is super, super good, and it costs 90,000 coin. Now, also, there it could be two other things that I could possibly level up. One of them is Audentus Maxima, and one of them is Magnetated. You might be, I might be asking, why didn't it show like, the level up sign? Well, because I didn't, I was saving uh, this uh, fusion for you guys. So, um, because I only have one pop for a second on this worth, I'm hoping, hope that we get a 30 right off the bat. Come on. Oh, 30. Come on. Please, 30. 30. <laughs> Well, well, it was a shot. I mean, we're pretty much very close to Audentis Maxima uh, level 23. So that's something to be looking at. Um, but who knows? Maybe we'll get a level 23 Magnetator because I did manage to get some Irritator DNA. Yes. So, uh, I'm 8 DNA. I'm 8 DNA from away from the 4th pop. So, can we just go into the Sanctuary and just find an Irritator really quick? <laughs> uh, because I feel like uh, I do... You know, kind of thing to make up that DNA. So, irritator, be uh, in a rat. That that'll be enough. That that's enough. Uh, to feed, but I'll just get some extra DNA because I will need it. So, fingers crossed that we can get. I mean, probably we can guarantee to get magnetite up to level twenty three. Um. Uh. Okay. So here we go. Um. Pyrotator, come on. If we can get at least a 50, we, we can guarantee to get it. Okay. A 20 will be good. Oh, that's the 30 that was missing for the odd Dentosaurus. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, well, we'll do the uh, last two pops. And of course, it's 10. Uh, and for the final pop. So, what do we get? 40? Oh, that's pretty decent. Now, uh, I would have preferred to get like something good on the the other two refuges that I've done before. Uh, but it, unfortunately it didn't. <laughs> so, um... So, we can guarantee to get uh, magnetite up to level 23. So, I'm just gonna click it anyway. And of course it's another 10. Oh my god. Ah, <laughs> oh, for god's sake. Uh, that cost 70,000 though. Hmm, 70,000 to level it up. Now, um, the thing is, do I have anything that could level up? Oh, I can level up early specs. No, no, I'll be using this guy because, uh, at the stages right now, I don't think I'll be using it. Just for the moment, but probably I'll be using it in the future. Um, so, anything else that I can level up? No? No, nothing? Well, I, I do have like a 2000 and not the Jonasaurus, but I don't know whether to go for, you know, the, um, what you call the Deoragosaur, which is, a uh, um, this guy, Rachicalosaurus and, uh, the Jonasaurus. But sometimes I kind of, I can't, if, I sometimes face this guy and it's not really that great, if I've got to be honest. Uh, this one can be dished up by a Thordo really quickly, if I've got to be honest. And, to be quite fair, um, I think the only good thing uh, that you can counter thing this um the only dinosaur that is really good against it is Toro. Toro is really good against this guy if you were using this guy to counter something probably the best count uh the best counter for um what am i saying this dinosaur um the perfect 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 counter is Ola Dominus. Uh, because Ola Dominus has doesn't go through armor, and then this guy could be really uh, negate something up because it has like almost two moves, same as Trichosaurus, except it doesn't have like shattering um, counter, it's shattering, shattering moves except for the shattering counter attack. So that's gonna be pretty decent. So I'm really because we have hundred and forty thousand coin, I'm really tempted to level up something. Uh, now from way I from the way I'm seeing it, all of them are really good. If I've got to be honest, all of them are super super good. But the thing is, though, ah, ah, I really have no idea. If I've got to be honest, um, 
It's either... Okay. Oh, God. I think my parents are coming up. Hold on. I'll be right back. And we're back. So, um... Really was kind of worried over there. <laughs> um, so... Uh... Yeah, so I'm really, really tempted to level up something. I'm not gonna level up Trigosaurus because I feel like Trigosaurus is just too powerful at the rate it is right now. Um, so probably I will keep Trigosaurus when I have the amount of coin I will I can level it up. Uh, but uh, something I really want to level up is either Magnetator or Proceratomimus. Either two of these creatures. I was thinking. Oh, uh, I don't know. Ooh, not gonna level up this guy. No, 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 no. Um, oh, Magnetator. Magnetator, though. I mean, how much How much will you get? 1,300 and 3,401. So that's like, what? Hold on. I got the calculator over here, so, uh, okay, let's see. Three what three thousand four hundred and one minus by three hundred and twenty nine three thousand two hundred and thirty nine from the health of magnetator. So he's gonna get hundred and sixty two health with about sixty two attack. Okay, pretty good. Hundred and sixty two um health and sixty two attack. So let's take a look at the Yoshi here. So we're gonna get about 3,600 times 1,772 um, Then by the attack uh, will be 73 So basically Pro gives more uh, attack and health better than Magnetator So you know what? 90,000 coin? Let's do it Oh, no I clicked the wrong Okay, 90,000 coin 25 Close around my mess. There we go. Beautiful. So all I need is like 1,400 DNA. And then I can get um, a level 26. This guy is super, super good. It's really, really good. Uh, so because we have some multifusions of it, I'll be doing free pops first. Uh, individually. Expecting. So now that we have like um, 10 more pops, we can just like, you know, multifuse them. So 20, 20, oh my god, there's no even a single 30. There's no 30 in there. Both. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll do it again. Uh, 40, uh, okay, 110. Not bad. Not bad. I, I'll take that. Um, so because we have 49,000 coin, um, we're gonna save that. We're gonna save it up. So, um, but before we jump into the battle, I just want to check for uh, this thing. Does this still have odd chops on it? No. I was like, I was, I was checking whether we got odd chops because I'll be opening this rare incubator for you guys. So why not? Let's speed it up. 120 bucks. Who cares? Uh, so hopefully I'll be getting mm, spider source DNA will be really good or Molalania will be a really good one. Back to the source could be okay, um, or nothing that has a, like or anything that has like a unique hybrid. Uh, Pure source Gen two, okay, not bad. Um, okay, not pretty good actually. Maybe we'll eventually we'll use that one day. You never know. Uh, so, Elasmatherium, not bad. It does go into. I think it's a. Uh, um, I think it has like a unique hybrid for it. Diplo Kyle's Gen 2, okay, never mind. Uh, okay, that's not that's not too bad because it has the Diplo Venator. And we'll also open this uh, Battle Incubator that I managed to win this morning. Uh, so, okay, 300 and Baryonyx Gen 2, not bad. Um, so, nothing we can much do. So, why not let's jump in, into some battles and just see how this, uh, you know, even though I leveled up the green uh, Pro Surrender Mimas, it doesn't mean that I won't lose. Because there is, could be a very good chance that I could lose in any time. And because maybe I leveled up my Pro Survivor Mice up to level 25, 
and if I'm facing anything that has like 120 35 speed and hopefully they'll be a lower level than me because I'll be going quicker so do we have it yes we do have it awesome so now the best starter in this is probably our dentist maxima just because you can just draw out something that is super super tanky See, there you go. You couldn't predict that. You, you, I couldn't predict that the Raptor Gen 2 would be coming in. But this guy is just a really good counter to it. It's awesome. So I'm really, really glad that I have out this Maxima. Probably on a Friday, I'll be adopting out this Maxima. And probably get it to level 24, if possible. So here you go for course of strike. And because it's, I'm immune, uh, you really can't uh, decrease my uh, attack. Okay, uh, it was fair enough that he dodged. Um... So he may go for Mutual Fury here. How much, what's the speed on it? 128. Ah. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. Okay, we didn't get the crit. That's unfortunate. Ah, see? There you go. This is where it, it, he outsmarted me. This is where he outsmarted me. So because he can do like 2,000 and almost 500 attack, I'm going to switch into the Green Becky. I'm gonna nullify um, that mutual furiness and that speed because he may go for the uh, the yeah the the, the, the vent shattering rampage. There's a decent amount of damage though, um, so I'll use uh, you know nullify nullify him and then um, it just depends on whether he wants to switch or not. But he doesn't. Okay, that's good. Um, so whatever comes in next is taking a big hit. And it's like over three thousand damage. Or not, he would just switch into Draco Ceratops and kill me. Ah, okay. Not bad. Not bad of a matchup here. Uh, because he can go for um, Instant Rampage, I'm gonna have to go for uh, Instant Distraction first. Never mind. That was a bad play. <laughs> oh, bolt. <laughs> Crap. Okay, we'll go for your Tower Knight because he's quicker. Um, I have like 134 speed and he has is this the same. So we'll go for distracting impact. Obviously I think he may go for instant rampage. Instant rampage, I thought so. So we go for distracting impact. And then he could either go for sidestep or just fodder it up. So I'm gonna go for instant charge. And he starts to fodder it up. Oh we got a crit as well, nice. Well they don't really necessarily need that, but uh, I would have preferred to get a crit on uh, something else. Ah, a Thordo. Okay, not bad. I would have loved to, like, you know, having to decrease its, um, its attack. Ooh, we may actually lose this if I don't play this correctly. Go for instant charge. I think we've lost actually. Yeah, we definitely lost. Well, it was a good play. Um, I think maybe because like uh, with uh, Pro Serata Mimas, I should have went for Distracting Rampage. I, I, I thought it was going to go for Instant Rampage. If I was me, I would just for Instant Rampage. But it didn't happen and then I've lost it so good man good, good game good game I'll, I'll take that loss normally I'll be kind of frustrated sometimes uh, because I like lose uh, because I, I played it correctly and sometimes I lose but um, at that time I messed it up so I can uh, kind of understand why I lost that so um, hopefully in the the next the next match that I'm going on right now um, won't be as uh, bad as uh, the other one I'll see you in a minute. Alright, here we go. Okay. Uh, so what do we get? Okay, we have a spider fish figure we can show it off. Um, just to see um, if we face in the drought. Oh my god, my eyes are hurting me. <laughs> um, okay, Indominus, Indominus Rex. Uh, what's the speed? 117. Ah. Um... Can we get a crit? No, we don't. 
Ah, uh, it's just a tiny bit less for my early dominance to kill me in one hit. Hmm. I'm hoping he go for cloak here. Go for cloak. What can I do? Okay. So we just have to follow off other this maxima. I, I feel like Um so we have to go for other dominus here. He may go for cloak here if I've gotta be honest. Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Come on, please hit. Ah no. Okay, fingers crossed. I, I, if I go for cloak, I can dodge, right? He dodge it. I can dodge, right? So please, for, for, for like 66% chance. Is it or or is it 75? 75 percent Come on, come on, come on. Okay, yes, we survive. Awesome. So we can go for a strike and run. Switch it to spinal constrictor, and then uh, let's see what comes in next. Yeah, hopefully, uh, it's not immune. If it's immune, then uh, it's pretty much screwed because it's really weak against immune creatures. There it is! Oh, look at that! Awesome. Come on, come on. Please don't put out something uh, immune. Just gonna find that out. Okay, not bad. I, I, I can take this on. Um, we'll go for exploit wolf. We'll do some bleed damage and then okay, he does he goes that. <coughs> Hopefully, your drink is up. Hopefully, you're drinking water because uh, it, it is um, it needs some hydration. Oh, we get a crit. Okay. Oh, sweet of the Draco Ceratops. Bulls. We survive? Please tell me we survive. Oh, we survive. Okay. They're pretty decent. No, because we're not going to die from the bleed anyway. So, at least we do a precise rampage. And, then, and how much damage is that? I need to bleed. Oh, 1,700. Really good. Really good, actually, for Spinal Constrictor. Um, so, he's going to regenerate... Uh, let me see. Okay. Uh, I better type it quick. Almost, uh. Oh! Did it time out? Oh. Oh, that was a bad play. <laughs> so we'll go for distracting impact. I feel like he may switch. Even if I get a crit, I can't kill him. So. Uh. uh, uh I don't know. I'm gonna go for. Uh, nullify. I feel like he may switch to spot uh, switch a tailor. I feel. Yeah, I predicted that, and I don't want to waste the big hit because I feel like the big hit is just too valuable to be safe. Well, then I get a crit there. Ooh, try god, try goddess. Okay. It seems to be a bit of a problem actually because it's just a big tank and then it can really negate my distracting impact. Oh, a grip. Very good. But I don't know if you can survive a, a Draco Ceratops hit, though. I don't know if you can survive. Come on, please survive. Please. Damn it. Ah, uh, balls. Now I played that correctly. I, I played it there. So, now is the time I can be very frustrated. Chef balls, man. Balls. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll continue battling. Oh my god, I'm getting not sweaty. Right. Okay, back, back, to the, back to the battle. Okay, what do we get? Come on, please be something good. Come on. Okay, uh, I'll go for Utara next first, because I feel like Utara next and not that this maximum is like the best start I find. 
Um, right at the back, they have like really good moves. Ah, okay. Now right, this is interesting. Because he may go for instant distraction right off the bat. So I'm going to go for a distracting impact. Lower his attack. And then I'm going to see whether or not he would... Uh, oh, he doesn't go for it. Okay, go for Ferocious Strike. Right? Okay, so he's a uh, precise counter. Oh god, he has a crit. Um, yeah, Ferocious Strike. So I don't have anything that has, that can nullify that except for um, that Pro Survivor Mimus over there. So... Let's see, we'll go for Instant Charge. Hopefully get stunned. Yes, okay, so now... I could very trick him into going for Rampage and Run. So I'm gonna go for a Decelerating Strike. Okay, I predicted true. Um, so we're gonna take a, a lot of damage over here. Uh, 843, that's quite a bit. We'll go for Distracting Impact. I, I mean, this is a really, really bad play for Dear Registor. You don't really usually play like this. I mean, it, before he went for Instant Invincibility over there, he should have went for Instant Distraction. So he could have gotten more hits on. But that was a really bad play on him. That was really bad. Normally, Utah is a good isn't a good counter against Dear Registor. Because he, doesn't, he has a lot of armor. And then, um... It really shouldn't have won in that exchange. But, I played it correctly. So congrats. So hopefully, oh, okay, it's another Dominus. See quicker. Only oh, level twenty one. <gasps> Ooh, we can beat this. <laughs> so I can kill you in one hit for sure with the distracting rampage. Yeah, I thought you would have been for that. I knew we would have been for that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna nullify that. Uh, that speed up. So if it goes for a rampage. He could possibly touch me. Nah, okay. Um, so we at least we dodged that. So we nullified that. So we can kill him in the next turn with just a regular hit. So we, we'll get, we go for that. And then on the next turn, we have our Distracting Rampage. I mean, Distracting Rampage. For something that comes in next. And to be fair, I have like 135 speed. So it is pretty darn quick. Oh, see, okay. Is he quicker? No, he's not quicker. Okay, well, I'm gonna take this chance to just go for Destructive Rampage. He goes for the uh, evasive stance. Oh god. Oh, we hit him! Nice! Well, 3 0 victory over there. Nice! Well played, well played. Um, okay, but there's a free incubator. Um, so that is gonna have to wrap up this video for two win. I mean two losses one win for three nil It's kind of okay. So That's gonna have to wrap up this video. Hopefully uh, you uh, we have the Friday where you can get your other the smacks of or quite Orion or not scout the So if you enjoy it leave a like. Thank you so much for watching until next time. I'll see you later Bye, -bye.